Hello everyone out there in internet land, welcome back to another Too Spooky For Me 5KG video. My name is Connor, and we are back with Prey. Now in case you forgot, last time we left off, we had made it to the executive suites, particularly the suite of one Morgan Yu. So if this place looks kind of familiar, it's because it looks exactly like the apartment that Morgan was in when we first started the game, if you've been following along since the first episode. So that apartment was based on Morgan's actual crew quarters. And we left off um, over here. We have some audio logs. I'm assuming they're audio logs. They're called memory logs and audio output October. So we are going to sit back and listen to these first and foremost. Let's begin. Calvino. Colleague. Won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. Okay. So, this is li literally just... I think this is literally just so Morgan can catch herself up to speed. New entry. Show. Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Huh. Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about Tess. Loyal to Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Mm, that may not be good for us. Michaela Ilyushin. Chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when Tess began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient. But false. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Paraplexus. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Aww. Sarah Elazar, Chief of Security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. So that's just a brief kind of, from Morgan's perspective, description of various characters we've met and heard of, or seen glimpses of. Uh, not really much else in here, it looks like. Oh, well, just a couple crafting pieces. See, I'm expecting this to open up, but I know it's not gonna. I need to find a crafting station desperately, because I am very low on ammunition. Also, let's go ahead and shoot up. That door is locked because of a breach, and there's a Technomancer around the other side of it. And we went into the guest suite. And Alex, we cannot enter his cabin. Hey, buddy. How you doing? So, let's head on back down. Oh, I see that door opening. I don't know what caused it to open, but I don't like it. Oh boy. So yeah, there's still a few things down here that I want to do. I want to check out the fitness center. And we need to go back to the cafeteria. Because if you also remember last time, we got our asses kicked. Nothing else in here. Uh, we got our asses kicked by a uh, uh, telekinetic guy. I forget what they're called. Looking in trash cans. But I really, really need to find a crafting station. 
And it really upsets me that I haven't found one. But, oh wait, here's one. Duh. I'm an idiot. Oh no, this is just a recycling bin. This isn't a fabrication. I need fabrication. Because I've got plenty of materials. I just need to make them into something. So, let's go check out the fitness center. Maybe there'll be something in there we can use. See, this door fucking opened by its own. Let's move really slowly. A lot of dead bodies. There was a fire here. It's Danielle. I'm trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't come. Emma? Please. No, not Emma. I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. <gasps> you can't. Oh my god. That's uh, a Abby mind control else? person. Recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes. We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too. Put you down. Okay, so Emma Beatty was mind-controlled. That may have been the last bit of put you down. Oh god, they are everywhere. Holy shit, this whole place is fucking mind controlled. Mind controlled central. But no, so when we were collecting audio logs uh, for Daniel shows uh, verbal key for the door we need to get to. That may have been another one, because I think it presented us with enough options to where we wouldn't have to get all of them. But that was probably what would have been another good audio voice sample of her. Oh god, lots of lockers to look through. Lots of lockers to look through. Give me things and stuff. I play survival horror games and RPGs. I know looting is important. Oh yes, give me all the ammo. Although it's actually a lot of ammo for a disruptor gun, which worries me. How many more mind-controlled people are we gonna run across? At least one more, apparently. Make you go to sleep. Listen really carefully. Okay. Okay. So, let's keep going. I keep saying to myself, how many, uh... How many more fucking mind-controlled people are we gonna run into? I may or may not want to know the answer to that question. Okay. 
Okay, looks clear. Check for mimics. Looks clear. I'll take a Neuromod. And let's see what's on here. Files. Uh, Huntress Bolt. Uh, sure, take another Huntress Bolt Caster file. Neat. A couple of emails. Ooh, Executive Suites key code. Uh, I think I'm good there. Uh, from Kevin Sabian to Emma Beattie. Emma, as you know, Morgan's availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She'd like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. The key code to the Executive Suites is a number we already figured out. So Emma was in charge of the fitness center. Ooh. That's a sound associated with the telepath controlled people. Greetings, adventurers. You usually have a map. Okay, so yeah, that's just more about Get out. Oh. Oh, there's more mind controlled people. What the fuck is down there? Oh shit, no, there is a telepath down there. Okay. Son of a bitch. Why are there telepaths everywhere? Well, actually, honestly, it's probably because it was like, hey, where's a big collection of people? Oh, the crew quarters? Well, let's go over there and mind control everyone. Okay, so we're away from there. I would really like to try and take on these fucking telepaths but I just, I, I don't have the ammunition to do it and the last time we tried I tried to use the Q-beam on a telepath but unfortunately it was able to just like automatically kill me somehow so I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to Finish it off? Which is really unfortunate. But what I think I'll do is we've got these turrets all set up. I think I'm gonna give it one more try. We're gonna go ahead and quick save. So that if I die again, we'll reload from here. Now let's see if we can get this guy one more time, because we've got a little more ammo now. We just gotta be really careful because there's some mind controlled people in here. And if you remember correctly, we're trying really hard to not kill any mind-controlled humans. Uh, just because I'd like to, to say that we didn't have to kill anybody. Machine clicks and beeps. So... EMP charge. So this section might have some extended preparation and just kind of stalking around. So I may just cut to when we get to the good part. Just because I'm going to take this really slow and careful. Alright. Let's take a pot shot at him. All right, let's see if that draws him over. Diagnostic check. 
Okay. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, yeah, he's got some, like, big AoE that just auto-kills you, it looks like. Let's get a Typhon Lure. Because then... Oh, he's not moving towards it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Person. No! 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 Don't kill the person! Don't kill person, man! Oh, God. Person, man, no! Okay, get away from him. He's gonna pop! Okay, yeah, that's just like a massive fucking AoE. We don't have... ...much else, Captain. So we're literally just gonna play the pop-in, pop-out game. Jeez Louise, he's pissed. No! Go to sleep, go to sleep, just go to sleep. Okay, I saved that person by knocking them out at the last second. Come on, big guy. What do you got? We're gonna keep just hitting you with that fucking Q-beam until you decide to go down. Another... another person coming in. Put that person down. Uh... We've almost got this. We've almost got this. There we go, guys. There we go. Come on, guys. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Fix you up, buddy. We've almost got him. Oh, here he goes. This might hurt. And you're dead! Got him! Oh, we are quick saving like a motherfucker. Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked, telepath! Lisa, you're okay. Whoever you are, run. There is no more food here except you. If you are still a hold of your brain, good. Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. They're puppets. Bombs. Their master is close. Kill beast or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. Okay. I think I got everybody. I'm sorry, Carlos. I, I tried to save everybody. We were able to save Indigo and Lisa. I feel like that might not be the last of them, though. What? What did we find? Somebody's unconscious. 
Okay, so yeah, there was another person. But... Okay, so... This answers a very important question. That we had last time. What happens to the people who are mind controlled when the telepath dies? They fall unconscious. Because that guy was probably awake. So, good. No sign of mimics. Yeah, all these people just fell asleep. Well, asleep, unconscious. That's still a really weird noise I'm hearing. So, uh, I'm sad because the last time I took out a few more of the puppets, the mind-controlled people, before the telepath came at us, so they weren't, like, funneling in one by one. Ugh. Oh, ow. Through a fucking table. Jesus. Um, but yeah, I, I was hoping there wouldn't be any uh, human casualties, and sadly there were. Oh, there were a lot. I guess I should rephrase that. There are already plenty of human casualties. I was just hoping there wouldn't be uh, any caused by me. Ooh, your head exploded. Lot of people. Holy shit. But I feel much more confident taking on the telepath over in the fitness center. Cause that Q beam, dude. This Q beam gets work done. Now, granted, we had to use up a lot of resources, but I am quite happy that we were able to defeat that telepath. No matching key card. And uh, release all these other people from the control of the telepath. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Travel around the outside of the room. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> your suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you? You kill Bist yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my... award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. Uh... Huh. Get your award. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. Get your award. Also, I thought we had heard a communication between Will Mitchell and someone else. When did Will Mitchell suddenly become fucking Russian? I don't know. Just suspicious. Turret bros, you got so much fucking work done. Ugh, you guys did so good. This, this is why I am not going to take the psychic power mods, because these turrets are fucking invaluable. Eh? Okay, you were already here. These turrets are fucking invaluable. And we are going to take them with us. And we are going to kill that other telepath. Maybe. Uh, I am running low on all my ammo now. But for the moment, we'll leave them here. Don't worry about power flickering. 
Station is just hurting. Keep going. Uh huh. Dude, I I really really don't like your your tone or your attitude. Does the game think I haven't been down here yet? That music. Envelope of food. Encyclopedia of food science and cooking. This is definitely looks like a cook's room. Who's that? What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? It sounds like an anti waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. But it was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Miss Show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an A-B conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. God damn it, I came to Talos 1 to get away from puns. Oh, who am I kidding? I love puns. Ooh. I don't mind if I do. Ho whack! I'll take some tomatoes. So yeah, the guy over in the kitchen is not Will Mitchell. No password found. That's okay. Gosh darn it. Alright, we're in. Two emails. Uh, re food request for Alex Yu. From Kevin Sabium to Will. Will, sorry to contact you during your downtime, but Alex has been working through the 4 a.m. shift and has put in a food request at the front desk. He says you know what he likes. Could you bring his meal to the executive suites? The code to the grav shaft. Okay, we already knew that. Um, okay, so these are one of those. To Morgan from Will, emote upgrade. Morgan, hey, I guess you must have shifted cafeteria visits, uh, or taking food in your quarters now, but wanted to say thanks again for the emote upgrade. You should hear Skillet now, much better. Don't think Danielle liked it, so hopefully that doesn't cause any trouble between you two. Don't be a stranger, still plenty of your favorite snacks in stock, just swing on by when you get a breather. Appreciate your help, Will. Uh, no problem, don't worry about Danielle, from M. Okay. So yeah, this guy clearly is not... Oh, the Starbender cycle. That sci-fi book. This guy is clearly not Will Mitchell, and I think I might call him out on it. Why did he send me all the way down here? Oh, why did I just use my goddamn time slow? That could be really helpful. So why did he send me all the way down here? Ooh. Oh, the music in this game. Who's that? Okay, I'm gonna move carefully. You still there, you? You still alive? Huh? Huh? What if you comes back? Let you in? But okay, dude. You find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. Okay. 
We're gonna quick save real fast just to be sure. You found something? Hmm. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promised. Go around. The side entrance. Okay. So this is the first human we've had physical contact with since this whole thing started. Wait! A minute. You're safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But... Look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure glitter... It is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this favor? I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? Huh. Okay, so. Feeling quite. Well, uh, safe in here. Oh, okay, so my inventory is pretty well full. So, yay! We have a... A thingy! Where is... Okay. So, sorry, got a little distracted there. Yay, we have a... Um, thing that makes things... Fabricator, that word. Break down these extra weapons. Take some stuff. Alright, shooty gun shells. Yes, please. But once again, we're so low on these... The fucking uh, mineral components. And you. And you. Hmm. I already hear this name before. Where? Quiet now. Oh, dude, I want oh, to blow you the fuck away. When puppets can get in, explode like bombs. Oh, the beast lays eggs in their head, make them explode. Okay, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the fucking greenhouse, I'm just gonna fix this. Because I'm a fucking engineer. You fix? Mm, smart one. Here, I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. If you're lying to me, Will Mitchell, I will blow your goddamn head off. No eggs behind your eyes. No black swimming. Hmm. Others come. Try to act human. Get me to open the door. Hmm. I don't know if I trust you. I'm gonna quick save. The fuck? You motherfucker! You fucking tricked me! Transdown piece of junk. Are you awake, am you? Frozen dead, maybe? I take Puppet's toy screen. I see all the names in the list. Your name, too. Means you listen from now on. I know who you are, am you? Daughter of William Hugh. William. Transtar. Always playing with lies. Now, maybe I watch these beasts eat you, like you tried to feed me to them. 
Oh boy. Or cold kills you first. Make you into a frozen puppet. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and save then. So we're now trapped in the fucking freezer because of Fat Man Johnson. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I'd say this is a good place to leave off as any. Son of a bitch. So we've been trapped in the freezer by this guy that I fucking knew wasn't Will Mitchell. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, not the hairiest situation we've been in since uh, we first awoke on Talos 1, so... We'll be just fine, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll be fine. But I think that's as good a place to stop as any. We're going over on time, and this seems like a really good place to call it. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. So, if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you've got a comment or a suggestion for us, throw it down in that comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you totally should, because you'll know exactly when next I upload one of these bad boys and you can see my harrowing escape from the freezer. Oh, and uh, all the other videos we upload on the channel. I don't know. Some... Hey, Fabi, if you're watching, you know I'm just kidding. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in with me today. You know I always appreciate your time and your viewership. I will see you in the next installment, and as always, have a good one.